So what's up? How you doing today? We're gonna to take a look at Mission in the Rain, at the different sections of the tune, and a couple of tricks we can use over the two different solo sections as well. But let's just get right into it and give the uh, intro a listen and see what's going on. <laughs> So this one does vary a little bit in the intro depending on the version, especially with the dead, but I was referencing the uh, Jerry Garcia band from Don't Let Go version for this one, just, just so you know. Um, but this will give you a framework. This tune is in F sharp minor at the beginning, and then it's going to change a little bit as we go along, but we'll, uh, we'll talk about that as, uh, as it comes up. So we start off in F sharp minor, and that beginning part just starts with an F sharp minor pentatonic um, kind of line just going right down the, the scale like so you can play that A here or here you know it's more of a familiar you know shape to pe most people right and then here and this is where the band kicks in here on B minor and right here this is where there's an F, a C sharp 7 there's that C sharp on top back to F sharp minor and then does that again and then kicks into the uh, the verse playing over the uh, F sharp minor right and rather than listen to the whole thing it's pretty straightforward in terms of what Jerry's doing because he's focused on singing he's just he's just kind of playing the bar chords through um, through most of this so I'm just gonna go right through it real quick just show you the chords so this is the intro kind of verse you can call it like the slow verse we've got F sharp minor C sharp seven this really establishes in our ears that this is a minor key and this is that this is the key and then E minor we can play there and play here or whatever to G D to A and then just a couple beats measure two four of the C sharp seven back to F sharp minor and then that lick again Back to uh, back to the top there, and then second ending, it's gonna instead of play that little line, it's gonna go F sharp minor, B minor, C sharp minor, so it's all kind of right in the beat, and then a couple measures of D, and it kind of just like hangs on it, and then they they kind of kick it up now to A, a couple measures of that. Sometimes I hear a little bit of like a, a little D over A thrown in there too. You can get it more easily hearing. Kind of like the intro to the way, right? And then now we're in the fast verse, and now, and now we're in the key of E, too, I should say. So now it's changed to the relative minor of F sharp minor. So it's a very smooth transition to uh, change to this to this key. And it starts on E here, D, A, and then real quick D, C sharp minor, B minor, and then real quick E, A. D. And anytime you got two verses in a row, they'll throw on an extra two beats of E, but I think it would more like measure two, um, four for the D, and then a measure four there, because it makes more sense kind of hanging on that, that E for that like a full measure, you know? And then it goes to the chorus. You've got D. It does a little, little, little frill there often. To D, I mean E. And then real quick. B minor, C sharp minor, D, A, G, D. So nice contrast that you're climbing up and then going down, back up, climbing up, and then it hangs on the A. And then the uh, the last chorus, it just it, it just doesn't hang on that A, and it keeps repeating this those two measures four times and then that's the second solo it just keeps going we'll get more into that in uh, a second but now let's get into the solo the first one and let's listen to me just play real quick one time through and i want you to listen and try to think of what it is i'm i'm doing what what's what am i getting at like what's the approach of what i'm doing and then we'll uh, take a look at it. So you could be thinking, 
oh, he's using this scale, he's using that. All I'm focused on is the melody. So if you've seen a lot of my videos before, you know I'm big into vocal melody for guitar, as I call it. Um, actually, I'll, I, I'm not, you know, really making a video for this one. I'm just go over kind of quick. But if you want to look at more of these, uh, if I can remember to add later, I'll put a link right here to the playlist of all the uh, vocal melody for guitar videos I have. A lot for Jerry, uh, you know, the Tons for the Dead, things like that. And I'll put a link in the description of the video down down below if you want to check that kind of stuff out more. Get real in depth into that stuff. But you know, real simply said, is it's you know, I'm not going to actually write this one out. I want to keep it simple in the sense of like. Just get this the song in your ear, and you know if you need to refresh yourself, go listen to a version of it, and just listen to the verse over and over, and get it in your head, and hum it in your head, and try to play it on guitar. So I was just doing it right here in this position, just thinking of it as like, okay, I'm just in the key of A, I'm just playing around right here, and I've just got, you know... Right, and it might not even be what I was just doing there exactly how he's singing it. He's always going to sing it a little different, anyways, right? But that is the kind of core of it. When you, when you do play the vocal melody on the guitar, it's not like meant to be always verbatim, but just get the essence of it. And if you can really get that down, you get it down, especially it's really fluid in different positions too. Then you start to really get that into your playing, and you start playing around the song and not just like random scale stuff, so that we can get away from that. And, uh, and it makes it much more of a connection to the song. And, and, you know, it's just nice to hear it. You know, it's, it sounds like you're, again, playing with the tune rather than just any old, you know, random thing. And really, there's not much there. I mean, look at it. How many notes are there? One, two, three, four, five. Go to this one. Six different notes. And you may think, oh, that's not much. I need more than that. I need to be playing all the place. But yet, when you hear Jerry singing the tune, are you thinking, like, He's not always singing that much. He's, you know, he, you know, I could sing it better. I'd be singing notes all over the place. You know, it's like, no, you think like, oh, it's, this is a great melody. Hopefully, right? Or, or you maybe don't like the tune or you don't like the sing. I don't know. But that's all you need, right? So that is the uh, approach right uh, there. And, um, and, and you know, the chord changes, the same thing as the verse with the extra two beats on the E because it keeps vamping it around. And that's it. And then there's a second solo, which is that second chorus, like I said, just that little section of two bars. We're just vamping that over and over. And let's do the same thing. Give a listen to what I'm doing there and see what do you think I'm uh, doing. We'll take a look at it afterwards. Now I'm mixing it up instead of playing A, I play a little higher up, but I'm playing A mixolydian. I'm focused on it, just throwing that G. That's all it is. It's a flat seven instead of the major seven in there. And the reason is that you get that G there. It is pretty quick in passing, so you you could you know you could still maybe play A major. It's just a different kind of a slightly different kind of color, different sound. You could just play A major pentatonic. I'm gonna play uh, C. But all I was doing, right, as I was doing two things, just playing. That mixolydian stuff, and just playing, you know, just a little patterns, it's kind of classic Jerry, you know, little, uh, I can't remember exactly, you know, something like that, right? Just play those little patterns of like, kind of like, like that, and just go down the scale, and that's definitely that, that Jerry thing we do all the time, he was, he was like the master of that, he did that better than anybody, and, um, and then I was just playing A, right, forever, that's what he does, that, that, and that's always that don't let go version, right? Just a high A, just really, like, I think I might even drawn out even longer than he did just just let it go i mean crowds always love that stuff you just hit a high note and you just keep kind of really builds that tension and uh excitement and then just finish by outlining some of those chords and finishing back back to the uh the, the tonic there the uh the a and that's it so hopefully that gives you an idea of kind of the different sections of the tunes whatever that intro licks and just some very simple ideas about soloing, but really, you know, stick with the melody. You can get the melody going. We can dive deep into that section of the chorus with the second solo, 
as well. But um, but just use your ears and listen. Try to get the melody going in there. It's such a great melody, very melodic tune. And uh, have fun with it. And if you want to try it out with the backing track, of course, I've got that over here. You can head right there and try it out with your own guitar right now. And uh, hopefully I'll see you in one of the next videos.